recently did a poll on my community tab asking my viewers what kind of content they'd like to see from the channel. 40% of viewers said they want to see debt payoff content. Another 40% said they want to see side hustle videos. Lastly, 20% said they want to see content about personal finance for parents. There's still time if you'd like to make your voice heard. Go to the community tab and tell me what kind of content you're interested in on seeing on the channel. If you choose something else, tell me what that something else is in the comment section. And with that, let's start our video. Many people get confused between credit cards and debit cards. Although both cards eliminate the need for cash and look very similar, there are quite a few differences between them. Both of the cards are accepted at most online and offline stores and increase convenience for consumers. The main difference between credit cards and debit cards is that credit cards allow you to borrow money from the bank for your purchases. Since you're borrowing that money, you'll need to pay it back. Whereas when you use a debit card, it deducts the money from the amount that's already present in your bank account. This is the main difference between credit cards and debit cards. In this video, we'll go in depth discussing the difference between credit cards and debit cards. So watch this video to the end to make sure you have a clear picture. Our mission at Smart Money is to give our viewers the motivation to make more money and the skills to keep it. What is a credit card? A credit card is issued by a financial institution, generally a bank, allowing you to borrow money from the institution against a line of credit. When a person applies for a credit card, that person agrees to pay the money back with interest as per the bank's policies. You can use a credit card to do your basic transactions and all your transactions will be reflected on the bill. If you pay your bill in full at the end of the billing period, you will be able to avoid interest payments. If you don't, interest will be charged on your purchases. So to avoid higher interest rates, don't carry a balance on your credit card month to month. Credit cards usually have a high interest rate and credit card balances can impact your credit score. Sometimes credit cards can give you rewards like cash, discounts, travel points, and many other perks that are not available for debit card holders. Pros and cons of using a credit card. Credit cards can provide you with several advantages over debit cards. However, credit cards have some downsides too. Pros, build credit history. How you use the credit card will be reflected in your credit report. Your credit report will include both positive and negative information, such as one-time payments, low credit card utilization, late payments, and delinquencies. The credit report is used to calculate your credit score. As a credit card holder, you can improve your credit score by making timely payments and keeping the card balance relatively low compared to the card limit. Ideally, you want your total credit card usage no higher than 30% of your total available credit. Warranty and Purchase Protection Some credit cards can provide you insurance or additional warranties on items you've purchased in addition to those that are offered by the retailer or brand. Your credit card company may provide you coverage in the event that the item you bought with the credit card is defective and the manufacturer warranty has run out. Fraud Protection in most cases, credit cards provide much more protection than debit cards. For example, if the credit card customer reports a card lost or stolen in a timely fashion, the maximum liability for purchases made after the card has disappeared is $50. The debit card holders have similar protection from loss or theft. But it's only available for debit card holders if the customer reports the event within 48 hours. Debit card theft victims don't usually get their money back until the investigation has been completed. Other credit card benefits. Credit card users can raise disputes for unauthorized purchases or purchases of goods that are damaged or lost during shipping. However, if the item is bought with a debit card, the transaction cannot be reversed until the merchant agrees to do so. A credit card can also be useful if you want to rent a car. If you use a credit card, the rental company will provide you with some sort of waiver for collisions. Sometimes, even if you use a debit card, a rental company will ask you to provide a credit card as a backup. If this video is giving you value, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell icon to be notified when I post a video twice weekly. Cons. Spending can lead to debt. When you make purchases using a credit card, you're spending the lending institution's money instead of your own. The money you spent needs to be repaid with interest. You need to at least make the minimum payments due to your card every month. If you run high balances on multiple cards, it will become difficult for you to repay the amount and your whole budget gets disturbed. 
Credit card score impacts. Paying your bill on time and keeping your credit card balance low can improve your Fair Isaac Corporation FICO score. But at the same time, misusing the credit card can hurt your credit history. If you have a habit of making late payments, maxing out one or more of your cards, or applying for new credit too often, you can get into trouble. Interest and fees. Think of a credit card as a short-term loan that you need to repay with interest. The interest and fees of your credit card are calculated by using the APR, annual percentage rate. The higher the card's APR is, the more it will cost to carry payment from month to month. Some banks also charge different types of fees on credit cards, such as an annual fee, foreign transaction fee, balance transfer fee, cash advance fee, and late payment fee. What is a debit card? A debit card offers much of the convenience of a credit card, but it works differently. It's a payment card that deducts money from a checking account instead of taking a loan from the lender. The bank does this by placing a hold on the amount you purchase. The merchant sends the transaction to the bank and the money is transferred to the merchant's account. However, this process can take a few days to happen and the hold may drop off before the transaction goes through. Whenever you need to use a debit card, you usually need to enter your PIN, personal identification number. At some merchants, you can also use your debit card without a PIN. The best thing about debit cards is that you don't need to pay interest or any other fees on the debit card. This is one of the main reasons people prefer to use debit cards. Pros and cons of using a debit card. Similar to credit cards, debit cards also have both upsides and downsides. Pros, avoid debt. A debit card uses the money the cardholder has in his bank account. So in this case, there's no risk of racking up debt. Usually, a person spends more money if they use a credit card. So by using a debit card, you can avoid the temptation of credit and stick to your budget. Fraud protection. Some debit cards, mainly those that are issued by payment processors like Visa or MasterCard, come with similar protections as credit cards but you need to report the theft or fraud as soon as it occurred. The liability for the fraud activity is determined by the time frame in which it's reported. If you report the theft too late, the bank might hold you responsible for all your losses. No annual fee. Most credit cards have some kind of annual fee, but this isn't a concern with debit cards. There's usually no withdrawal fee if you withdraw cash from your bank's ATM. Whereas a credit card can charge you a cash advance fee and a steep interest rate for cash withdrawals. However, you may need to pay some other fees to maintain your checking account. Cons, no rewards. By using a debit card, you will not earn any points or cash back unless you have a rewards checking account. Rewards can save you a lot of money depending on how you use them. This is one of the major features that are missing with debit cards in comparison to credit cards doesn't build credit. By building good credit, you can show lenders that you are low risk when it comes to repaying the money that you borrow. However, if you make purchases using your debit card, you will not improve your credit score because you are using the money that you already have. Fees. Although a debit card doesn't have an annual fee, you might need to pay some other fees associated with your checking account. The fees can include monthly maintenance fees, overdraft fees, return item fees, foreign ATM fees, etc. Credit card versus debit card, which one is better? Both credit cards and debit cards have their own advantages and disadvantages as we have discussed. In my opinion, here are the conditions where you should use which card. You can use the debit card to withdraw money. If you have spending issues. If you can't control how much money you spend, you should use a debit card. You can use a credit card to make big ticket purchases as you can split your transaction into equated monthly installments or EMIs. To do online shopping as it provides better protection against fraud. If you're going for a vacation because most places accept credit cards. Credit cards also support overseas transactions so you don't need to worry about having foreign currency. However, while using a credit card, be honest with yourself about your self-discipline. I hope this video helps you understand the difference between credit cards and debit cards. Did I miss anything? Let me know in the comments. If you found this video worth watching, don't forget to share it on social media. Are you looking to go from deep in debt to debt free in investing but don't know how? 
Get my free ebook and start your debt-free journey today. I'll tell you the three weird steps you need to take to begin your debt-free journey. Link in the description. Check out these videos on your screen on how to improve your finances. If you like this video, click the like button. It helps a lot. Be sure to subscribe and share the video with your friends. Check the links in the description for offer information. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.